Let's hear some things that people ask women but never ask men, apparently. Oh, fucking hell. It's like the intro to Orange is the New Black. Why do they always start like this? Fucking Huffington Post. Don't be so bossy. Well, then stop being so fucking bossy. Your dad will have to chase the boys away when you're older. <laughs> Are you offended by that because of the implication that you're pretty? Or the implication that when you're older, you won't be able to take care of yourself and you have to get your dad to do it for you? Either way, honey, looking at you, it's not going to be an issue. You look so pretty. No compliments! He picks on you because he likes you. Or would you prefer he picks on you because one of you is a cunt? You need to wax your eyebrows. Well, no, fair enough. You don't need to wax your eyebrows, but you could definitely do with some tidying up. Don't wear that to school. You're going to distract the boys. No one said that to you. Oh, you like video games? The boys must love that. Doesn't that say more about boys? Don't be a slut. Looks like someone got caught being a slut. No guy wants to have sex with a virgin. Bullshit. How much did you have to drink that night? Well, I get asked that all the time. What were you wearing that night? Why oh, that was about rape. Shocking. Why are you getting so emotional? So when I get asked that, stop being so emotional. Stop being such an attention whore. Don't Funny how you make that statement on a YouTube video about women. Be so bitchy. Well, have you tried it? Stop being so dramatic. It Funny how you make that statement on a YouTube video about women. It must be that time of the month. You're just angry because they were right. It'd be really pretty if you just made an effort. And for you, that goes double. If someone told me I was going to be in a video, I'd at least iron my fucking shirt. You'd be much prettier if you smiled. And approachable. And likeable. You're so exotic. Where are you from? Yeah, because people are such cunts when they want to get to know us, aren't they? Nice rack. I Fair enough. That rarely gets said to men. I was just trying to give you a compliment. Yeah, you guys really seem to have a problem with that. You don't want to go out with me? You're ugly anyway. They might have been onto something with that one, love. Is that all you're going to eat? Oh, we've moved on to things only people with anorexia here. You eat a lot for a girl. Yeah, not like that last one, skinny bitch. You drink whiskey? Why would no one say that to a man? You like football? That's so offensive, I don't know how you found the courage to carry on. Your drive is kind of intimidating. How is that a bad thing, heavily lipstick lady? That intimidating drive got you here on a Huffington Post video, dream achieved. What war on reproductive rights? Oh, so as most people are ignorant about that, then the burden of informing them falls on you, you poor fucking thing. Can women have it all? Well, judging by videos I've seen on Pornhub, yes. And you're damn good at it. Are you, like, a feminist? Asking a woman if they're a feminist? What a cunt! Oh, you travel alone? Is that like an eat, pray, love thing? Oh. Fair enough, only a woman would get asked that because, to be honest, any man who's read Eat, Pray, Love is not truly a man. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. That wasn't a question. So much for wearing glasses being a sign of intelligence. You don't want kids? Aren't you worried you won't be fulfilled? Are you actually suggesting that a woman has never said that to a man? Your biological clock is ticking. Sounds like someone's parents want grandkids, doesn't it? You're not taking your husband's last name? Ah, well, now men can get married to other men, so men do get asked that. Ah. You don't even look like you had a baby. You don't look like you've ever had sex. Are you planning on working after the baby's born? Well then, thank goodness we live in the times we do today. 200 years ago, it would have been, do you plan on surviving after the baby's born? You'd be so bored at home. I can understand that only being said to women, because to men, home is where the games consoles are. You're going to let someone else raise your kids when you go back to work? If you can afford to have someone else raise your kids, do not even pretend to be oppressed. Does your husband mind that you make more money than him? And there was me thinking that feminists have been trying to perpetuate the myth that women get paid less, but this one gets paid more. Your husband cooked dinner? You really have him well trained. Yeah, I could go out to a gay man and ask him that. Or a widow if I was feeling like a cunt. You're dating a younger man? You're such a cougar. You're dating a younger woman? You sick bastard! He traded her in for a younger model. Are we talking about cars, yeah? You should feel grateful you were catcalled. Have you seen you, love? The guy who catcalled you was being fucking generous. Do you feel fulfilled that you were just a stay-at-home mom? Alright, now you're just getting offended by bloody good questions, aren't you? Isn't that outfit a little young for you? Nah, go on, Grandma. You do you. Get some of that young D. You still wear makeup? How adorable. Now that's something a woman would say to another woman. Because you guys tear at each other like animals. You must have been beautiful when you were younger. Well then I wouldn't have done so many drugs in the 80s because it left your head resembling something along the lines of half a pint of Guinness. Thank you for that waste of time Huffington Post and thank you guys for watching. I hope you feel dumber for it.